Northwestern football players voted Friday morning on whether to unionize or not, and we can guess offensive tackle Sam Coverdale's opinion after this tweet. Here are all the reasons why we need a union. We don't. Okay, then. Shea Pebbler here inside our Campus Insider Studios, and for the latest, let's welcome in our Northwestern Insider, the voice of the Wildcats, Dave Ennett. And Dave, as I mentioned, football players voted Friday morning on whether to form a union or not. They need a majority vote for this to pass. You're around these players all the time. What's your gut feeling on the outcome? Well, you know what, Shay, really is anybody's guess right now. There have been some players on this team who have spoken out and they've come out against the union, but clearly we wouldn't have even been here Friday morning were it not for the impetus they already had with this movement to, to form a union. So there's enough support on this team to get the vote generated. At the same time, they only need uh, one um, vote more than uh, the opposition to get this passed. The, the thing is that we're not going to know for a long time whether uh, it passed or not because the National Labor Relations Board is going to review uh, the original decision, which was that Northwestern football players are employees and can form a union. Northwestern has appealed that, and so the NLRB in Washington is going to review it. Until that time, we're not going to know how this vote went. Well, Dave, as you mentioned, we likely won't have an outcome for weeks or even months, but is there anything worth noting going on behind the scenes there in Evanston? Well, I think there are a number of things. Uh, one thing that is interesting is a group of former players at Northwestern uh, calling themselves the Game Changers have, have formed. It's kind of a, a grassroots movement among former players who have, uh, on one hand, voiced their support for Kane Coulter, the former starting quarterback for the Wildcats, who has been the spokesman for this movement to get a union. And... They have formed this group that's been meeting with Jim Phillips, the athletic director, Pat Fitzgerald, the football coach. They want to support Kane. At the same time, they want to help implement some of the changes that have been talked about by the College Athletes Players Association and try to get some of those changes made at Northwestern, not waiting for a union or collective bargaining or anything. And, and I think so far they've been received very positively by the administration at Northwestern. So it's kind of interesting. You've got some guys who played more than 30 years ago at Northwestern who are part of this now looking to make some changes in the way college football operates here in 2014. Interesting. Now, Dave, we know how this media attention is affecting the current roster, but has this had any impact on incoming recruits? Well, it's tough to say, but, uh, you know, I guess the best indication is that They've got eight commitments for 2015 already, and those have all come in the past couple of weeks, uh, well after the NLRB ruling uh, in favor of the union. So you would think at this point, if it was having a negative impact, that they wouldn't have gotten those commitments. You would think, if anything, the, the impact has been positive. Or maybe it's the publicity, because certainly Northwestern has been a program that's been very much in the news this winter. That's for sure. All right, Dave Ennett, thanks so much for the insight. Thank you. And for more updates surrounding this developing story, be sure to keep checking CampusInsiders.com.